Right, welcome back to a brand new Golanga video. Today it is Derby County versus Cambridge United. Both sides are level on 13 points coming into this game. Derby, we're ninth, Cambridge United are 10th. Derby, in our last game, we're coming off the back of a 2 0 away victory at Carlisle United. A great result for us there. James Collins getting a brace in that one. Cambridge United are coming off the back of a 1 1 draw to Port Vale, and Port Vale have had a good start to the season. Likewise, with Cambridge United today. So I'm expecting a fairly difficult game today. What's my thoughts in terms of score prediction? Well, like I said, I think it's going to be a close game. I think this is a James Collins scoring in it type of game. Obviously, when we went away to Cambridge early on last season, James Collins got a brace there. And we're coming up against them today. And I'm going to say a 1-0 Derby County win. I think James Collins will get another goal today. He's on form. And hopefully we can continue a good form. And if we win today then we start to look on the up, don't we? But in terms of Derby, we seem to be playing better away from home than we do at home. At the moment, we are pretty boring to watch. I think that's quite fair to say, even though we did win the last game. I mean, how many clear-cut opportunities did we create? It was still a comprehensive victory, but there wasn't many clear-cut chances in the game. And I'm hoping that we could try and change that today. But like I said, I expect it to be quite a close affair, quite a tight game. Two sides are pretty evenly matched coming in on paper. So I'll go with a narrow 1-0 victory. Hopefully we can get the win and the home advantage will take us through. But that's my thoughts ahead of this one. Let's go to Pride Park Stadium. Right, we're joined here now with Cambridge United fan Alfie. What's your thoughts ahead of today? Uh, I think it'll be a very tight game. I don't think it'll be like a goal thriller. I think it'll just be like a 1-0 or a 1-1. I'll go with 1 0 Derby, same as last year. I don't think we'll get a result, but um, and nevertheless, I think it'll be a good away day. Derby's always a good away day. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go 1 0 Derby. Yeah, cheers, mate. Subscribe no to him, link will be in the description. <laughs> Welcome to the end of the Golanger video and it has ended Derby County nil, Cambridge United nil and as I predicted before the match it would be a pretty even game and it was today. Derby County, our best spell of football probably came in the 10 to 15 minutes at the start of the match. The first opening opportunity when Mendes Lang broke away. Seemed to be one on one but then decided to lay it off to Barkhouse and I'm not quite sure why he didn't put his foot through it and he probably would have made it 1-0 in the opening minutes and that would probably have changed the face of the game and then we continued to attack going down the left whipping balls in and we just couldn't seem to get on the end and we just we just weren't there that man on the ball that we needed in the box just wasn't there but overall derby today we, we kept a lot of the ball we had a lot of possession you know we moved the ball well there was decent passing moves but we just didn't create anything in my opinion after that 10 to 15 minute spell you know i think what i would take away from today's game is that derby we were so cautious today 
that we just didn't carve out a really good opportunity. I thought we need to be more adventurous. We need to take risks. If we're not going to take risks in games like that today where it had nil-nil written all over it throughout the whole match, then, we, then we're not going to score goals and we're not going to win these sorts of matches. And I'm just a little bit disappointed we didn't go for it more. I said at the start of the day it would be a pretty even match and it was, but the game was there for the taking really from both sides. Derby, we had all the possession and for me, we didn't do anything with it. And it's just disappointing to come away with a nil-nil draw. And unfortunately, I would say it is probably two points dropped. Obviously, we've got Blackpool now on Tuesday night, which is a difficult test. I think the squad's going to have some rotation, especially that team. I think some players need a rest and some other players can come into the fold and, and get a start. I think that's just what we have to do because today we just didn't do enough to win the game and a draw is a completely fair result. But when you look at it on paper, we should have come away with three points, really. But there we go. If you have enjoyed today's video, I know it's not been the most entertaining one, but obviously it is just a reflection of the match. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow my social medias in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.